Hey, Zao An. Good morning. Dajia ni hao. Wo jiao Lenin. My name is Lenin, and I am currently here in Chinatown in the city of Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, preparing to drive to the city of Tonga, a city I know absolutely nothing about, in the hopes that I will attend a Maasai wedding. This is Lenin from the future. Right after I filmed my intro, I was informed the Maasai wedding had been delayed. This, however, did not stop my new friends and I from having an epic, spontaneous adventure. What the Chinese call "shuozo jozo," literally "say go, just go." It means as soon as you think of going somewhere, you just go. No detailed itinerary, no roadmap. Just three friends, a car, and a rough destination in mind. We decided last minute to drive halfway across the country to the city of Moshi. But what will we eat? <laughs> Where will we stay? Will we find anything fun to play? Can we make any new friends along the way? Come along and find out on this Sangha Pungyo, Zai Feijo, Shuozo Jozo de Luyo. Let's go inside and I will introduce you to my new friends. Da -da -da. Hey, Ni hao. Hi. This, this is Aming and Guo Kiyu. Michael and Guo Kiyu. Ni yo, me yo. Mr. Guo. Okay, that works. I was going to ask you have an English name. And these are the two friends that I was telling you about and we're about to embark on an epic journey together. After a couple hours on the road, we took a pit stop to buy some fresh pineapple at this roadside fruit stand. 1000 <laughs> There are literally hundreds of fruit stands like this sprinkled throughout the countryside. <laughs> Once back on the road, I opened up my Airbnb app and booked us a sweet looking three bedroom home in a gated Moshi community for less than $100 per night. Michael knows a Chinese guy who works at a rock quarry and decided to stop there to shoot a new episode for his Chinese TikTok channel, Douyin, Ju Jiao Fei Zhou, Focus on Africa, which has been absolutely killing it, surpassing 260,000 subscribers in less than eight months. While at the quarry, we learned about another Chinese-led project, a new bridge being constructed just down the road, so we headed there too. Next, we spotted road monkeys. This one is eating trash. Then drove for several more hours through the beautiful Tanzanian landscape. At 5.30 p.m., we finally reached our lunch destination. <laughs> LOL. Kilimanjaro Motorway Restaurant. We also stopped here on the way back, and I did a full episode. No, this truck is not driving randomly with his blinker on. Per local customs, he's letting us know not to pass. Then, he turns on his left blinker to let us know it's now safe to do so. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> we finally reached our Airbnb around 10 p.m. And it did not disappoint. It's nice. Looks good. It's fresh. Wow, smells great.
I started this episode by calling Michael and Mr. Guo new friends, but travel has a way of bonding people together. And since I'm from the future, I'm sure that we will be sharing more epic adventures together. Now that we've finally reached Moshi, like, share, and subscribe so that you can find out what we're up to next. Peace and love from Africa. Yeah.